हेलो एवरीवन इस पूरी सीरीज के अंदर हम पूरे सिलेबस को कवर करेंगे ऑन डिजिटल लॉजिक और डिजिटल लॉजिक के अंदर जितने भी सिलेबस है पूरा जो स्टार्टिंग से एंड तक हम पूरा टॉपिक जो है सब कवर करेंगे और उसके साथ साथ हम कुछ प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन को भी यहाँ पर कवर करेंगे तो आई होप जो क्लासेस है आपके लिए काफी बेनिफिशियल रहेगा तो आई थिंक यू नो माई नेम माई नेम इज हिमांशु कौशिक और मुझे गेट की फील्ड में स्टूडेंट्स को पढ़ाते हुए बहुत टाइम हो चुका है मैं इंडिया के बेस्ट इंस्टीट्यूशन के साथ ऑलरेडी काम कर चुका हूँ और सब पहली बार मैंने गेट एग्जाम क्लियर किया था दैट वॉज इन टू थाउजेंड इलेवन ट्वेल्व तो ऑब्वियसली आप देख सकते हो कि इसी फील्ड में मुझे लगभग दस साल से ज्यादा एक्सपीरियंस हो चुका है तो ऑब्वियसली हमारा जो एक्सपीरियंस है आपके लिए काफी बेनिफिशियल रहेगा तो इसी वजह से आप जो हमारी क्लासेस है उसको ज्वाइन कर सकते हैं और अगर आप मेरा कोई भी कोर्स लेना चाहते हैं ऑन अन अकेडमी तो अन अकेडमी पे मेरे पास दो तरह के कोर्सेज जो होते हैं पहला जो है दैट इज कॉल्ड प्लस कोर्स एंड सेकेंड इज आइकॉनिक कोर्स तो प्लस कोर्स में स्पेशल ये है कि यहाँ पर इंडिया के बेस्ट टीचर्स यहाँ पर होते हैं और साथ साथ में जो मेरी क्लासेस होती है काफ़ी इंट्रैक्टिव होती है यानी कि आप और मैं क्लासेस के बीच में इंट्रैक्टिव या डिस्कशन हम लोग कर सकते हैं और साथ साथ में जब आप आइकॉनिक कोर्स में जाएंगे तो आइकॉनिक में स्पेशल है स्पेशल ये है कि एक मेंटर आपके साथ हमेशा साथ रहेगा तो मेंटर जब भी आपको कोई भी डाउट रहेगा आपको कोई भी नोट्स की जरूरत होगी या फिर आपको कोई मोटिवेशन की जरूरत होगी तो मेंटर हमेशा आपको सपोर्ट करेगा इन एनी वे तो अगर मेरा कोई भी कोर्स लेना चाहते हैं विद अन अकेडमी चाहे आप प्लस ले या फिर आइकॉनिक ले मेरा कोई भी कोर्स अगर आप लेना चाहते हैं जस्ट यूज अ कूपन कोड विच इज कौशिक टेन क्योंकि कौशिक टेन में आपको टोटल टेन परसेंट ऑफ हमको मिल जाएगा जस्ट यूज दिस एंड होप यू लाइक दिस पूरी सीरीज जो है आपको बहुत अच्छी लगेगी एंड थैंक यू सो मच Hello everyone. We are going to discuss about the concepts of number system today, and I will take everything from the very basics. The topics that we have in number system is introduction to the number system. Then we have interconversions to various formats in the number system. What are the complements? For example, in a binary number system, you have ones complement, you have twos complement. In the same way, you can also find these complements in other number systems. and then we are going to discuss about the various type of codes you have bcd code you have access tree code you have gray code we are going to discuss about all of these codes and then we are going to discuss about the ieee floating point format and at the end it will be booth's algorithm so this booth's algorithm instead of discussing the booth's algorithm in this subject today i might discuss this booth's algorithm in computer architecture so most probably Uh, i'm thinking that instead of discussing this floating point numbers as well as booth's algorithm in uh, digital logic i should discuss them in computer architecture so i'll update you uh, by the end of this lecture so first of all let us start with the basics of number system i think all of you are already familiar with the number systems aap sabhi ne apne college level pe number systems ko already study kiya hai so this first lecture will be kind of a revision to those basics जो सभी चीज़ें आप अपने कॉलेज लेवल में आप स्टडी कर चुके हैं तो ये जो लेक्चर है ये उन सभी का एक तरीके से बेसिक रिवीजन ही रहेगा वी कैन स्टार्ट विद इट आई रिकमेंड ऑल ऑफ यू टू प्लीज गो थ्रू दिस एंटायर सेशन एंड इफ़ यू वांट यू कैन इंक्रीज द स्पीड ऑफ द वीडियो सम ऑफ द पोर्शन आई फील दैट यू ऑलरेडी नो अगर आपको लगता है कि आपको ऑलरेडी पता है तो आप उन पोर्शन को स्किप कर सकते हैं अदरवाइज इट इज़ ऑलवेज गुड दैट यू लिसन टू द एंटायर लेक्चर सो लेट डू दिस हेयर सो इन अ नंबर सिस्टम In a number system, we can have any kind of number system. Uh, we have binary. So, our जो number system है, you have a unary number system. Right? I hope it is visible. Yes. Then you have binary number system. Then you have ternary number system. Then you can have quinary number system. Then you can have five array number system, and so on. You have octal number system, which is eight array. हम इसको octal भी बोलते हैं. We also call it as octal number system. And we have decimal number system. In the same way, we also have hexadecimal number system. So we have various different kinds of number system. So number system का मतलब क्या है? मतलब what what do we really mean by this number system? So का actual meaning क्या है? So let me explain you with the help of an example. Let us assume that this is a farm. 
ठीक है ये आपका एक फार्म है एंड इन दिस फार्म यू हैव सम गोट्स ठीक है सो मे बी यू माइट बी हैविंग गोट्स यू कैन हैव शीप्स समथिंग लाइक दिस दीज आर द थिंग्स दैट यू हैव आई मीन सम एनिमल्स यू हैव आई मीन टू से एंड दैट्स यू सो वट यू डू इज एवरी मॉर्निंग यू टेक दिस गोट्स आउट ऑफ द फार्म and you make them roam in the nearby village matlab jo bhi aas paas ke gaon hain aap sabhi gaon mein inko ghumate hain and at the end you bring them back in this farm correct so at the end of the day but something you have noticed that in last few days the number of goats are reduced and you do not know how to count aapko nahi pata ki count kaise karte hain lekin aapne ye notice kiya ki kuch goats ko जो कुछ गोड्स हैं वो आपकी कम हो गई है पर कितनी कम हो गई है आपको नहीं पता इट कैन बी एनी रीजन राइट समबडी इज सिटिंग ओवर देयर ही इज ट्राइंग टू स्टील योर गोड्स एनी एनी रीजन कैन बी देयर नो व्हाट यू कैन डू इन दिस केस आप इसको किस तरीके से यहाँ पर कर सकते हैं यू कैन टेक अ बैग हेयर करेक्ट सो वेन एवर वन गोट यू गो आउट ऑफ दिस फार्म यू कैन पुट अ स्टोन इन दिस वेन एवर अनदर गोट विल गो आउट यू कैन पुट अनदर स्टोन one more goat will go out you can put one more stone one more goat will go out you can put one more stone so in in this way you are going to have many stones in this bag and in the evening when you are going to bring all of these goats back jab bhi evening mein sabhi goats wapas aayenge us samay par whenever one goat enter you can remove one stone another goat enter you can remove another stone and so on if all the goats are inside the farm and still there are a few stones left that means some of the goats are missing in how many goats are missing the number of goats that are missing are dependent on the number of stones i mean they are same as the number of stones that you have in the bag to so bag mein jitne stones bache hain utne hi goats aapke paas missing hai so you can use this kind of counting to count these goats and if you look at this bag so all of these stones are only of one type a stone represents a symbol har ek jo stone hai wo ek symbol ko represent karta hai a stone represents a symbol so if you have two stones that means it is representing number 2 if you have three stones that means it is representing number 3 so basically we have only one symbol and with that only one symbol you can represent various numbers right and what symbol is stone that's it so that is why we call it as a unary number system unary means that you have only one symbol so unary number system means we have only one system that can be a stone but when i say we have a binary number system in binary number system we have two symbols the symbols are 0 and 1 now look at this very carefully in your hand when you do counting here like you count 1 2 3 4 5 5 so if you do this kind of counting that means you are counting in unary apne hath se jab aap counting karte hain तो आप यूनरी नंबर सिस्टम से काउंट कर रहे होते हैं बट आई कैन ऑल्सो काउंट इन बाइनरी विद माई हैंड्स दैट मीन्स इफ आई कैन गिव टू सिंबल्स राइट सो इफ आई से दिस इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग अ नंबर जीरो दिस इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग अ नंबर वन एंड दिस इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग अ नंबर टू राइट एंड देन दिस इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग अ नंबर थ्री ओके इन द सेम वे आई कैन से दिस इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग अ नंबर फोर दिस इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग अ नंबर फाइव then this is representing a number 6 and then this is representing a number 7 so basically i can use a binary number system just to count using my hands also so basically just by using binary number system i will be able to count more as compared to the previous case jis tarike se hum unary mein count kar sakte the binary se agar hum apne hath se binary number system ko use karenge to hum zyada symbols ko count kar payenge okay so here this is binary number system that means we have two symbols then we have ternary number system ternary number systems means we have three symbols so that is 0 1 and 2 then we have quinary number system quinary number system means we are going to have four symbols 0 1 2 and 3 then we have five array number system so we can have any array we have six array seven array eight array nine array 10 11 12 13 14 15 even 32 we can have 100 array number system so when i say this array this is for example if i say five array five array means we have total five unique symbols if i say decimal that means we have 10 unique symbols so five array means 0 1 2 3 4 5 
3 and 4, these are the 5 symbols. When I say I have 8 array, so that means we have 8 unique symbols. Symbols are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. These are total of 8 unique symbols. Okay, so let me rub some part here because I need more space. Let me rub it off. <clears throat> now, when I say we have a decimal number system, decimal means we have total of 10 symbols. The symbols are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. If you count them, these are a total of 10 symbols, right? And if I say we have hexadecimal number system, hexadecimal number system means we are going to have total of 16 symbols. Kitne symbols are here per total? 16. The symbols are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then for 10, I am using A. So why I am not using 10 here? I am not using 10 here because in 10 we have a 0 and we have a 1. So 0 or 1 were already come. So I cannot use 10. So I have to use a different symbol that is A. I can use B, C, D, E and F. So you can see these are total of 16 unique symbols. These are all the ones that are symbols ko represent 16 unique symbols. So in any of your number systems, so if I say hexadecimal, that means 16 unique symbols. And these number systems, we represent the number of symbols in that number system with the help of a radix. Right? So here, for unary number system, the radix is 1. For binary number system, the radix is 2. For example, if I say we have 1, 0, 1, so it is binary. So this 2 is representing a radix. If I say ternary, so if you have a number like 2, 1, 1, and if I say the base is 3, so this 3 is representing a radix. It is saying that it is a ternary number system, right? If I have an uh, octal number system, so if I say the number is 1, 0, 1, and this is base 8, so it is representing a radix. In decimal number system, we say that we have 9, 8, 4, we have base 10, so this 10 is representing a radix, right? So in this way, each, in each of these number system, we have some radix, right? Even in hexadecimal, I can say we have A, F, and then this is the radix which is 16. So, we can represent number system in hexadecimal Now, one more thing that you can notice here. What is the value of these numbers? In sabki values, ke, I mean, how can you convert these values to a decimal? So, basically what you find out is by experience, right? So, I think human knows these countings for more than like 3 to 4,000 years. So, 3 to 4,000 4, years ago, we started this counting concept, right? So, you can see that when uh, we have this, uh, jo sabhi hai, so par we identified that according to the human memory, we can easily remember 10 symbols, right? Even it is also easy to remember 16 symbols, but remembering, re remembering 10 symbols is the most easiest thing that we can do. So that is why we used a decimal number system as a basis. Now, if I say that we have a number, like we have number 3, 2, 1, and this number is in base 4. Or if we have a number 1, 2, 1, 1, this is in base 3, or we have 1, 0, 1, this is in base 2, I can convert any of these number systems easily to base 10. Hum sab ko bahut easily base 10 mein convert kar sakte hai. How can I convert? It's very, very easy. Kaise convert kar sakte hai? So, if we have some numbers like a1, we have a2, we have a3, up to so on, we have an, and this is a0, and we have some radix as y. And I want to convert this to decimal. I want to convert this to decimal. How can I convert? Very easy. I can do a0 raised multiplied by y raised to power 0 plus a1 multiplied by y raised to power 1 plus a2 multiplied by y raised to power 2 plus up to so on we have a n multiplied by y raised to power n so basically i multiplied them with the powers of y so for example here you can see we have 3 to 1 so how can i do it i can say it is 1 into 4 raised to power 0 
plus 2 into 4 is to power 1 plus 3 into 4 is to power 2 which is equal to 1 plus 8 plus 48 and that is equal to 57 right so this number in decimal is 57 okay in the same way if you have a number 211 and this is in base 3 i want to convert this number which is 211 in base 3 to base 10 so that means 1 into 3 raised to power 0 plus 1 into 3 raised to power 1 plus 2 into 3 raised to power 2 right so 2 into 9 is 18 18 plus 3 is 21 and 21 plus 1 is 22 so in base 10 this number is representing 22 a number jo hai base 10 mein 22 ko represent kar rahi hai in the same way if we have 101 in binary if i convert this in base 10 that is going to be 5 so 1 into 2 is power 0 plus 1 into 2 is power 2 that is going to be 5 so in this manner you can simply convert these numbers to binary now i can also tell you one more very interesting thing here what if we have some point numbers what if we have number like this we have 101.10 and this is in base 2 i want to convert this number in base 10 again as i am saying converting this is very very easy q easy hai? we have to follow exactly the same concept we have to do this one into 2 raised to power 0 this one into 2 raised to power minus 1 this 0 into 2 raised to power minus 2 this one 0 into 2 raised to power 1 and this one into 2 raised to power 2 so that means it is 1 into 2 raised to power 2 plus 0 into 2 raised to power 1 plus 1 into 2 raised to power 0 plus 1 into 2 raised to power minus 1 plus 0 into 2 raised to power minus 2 and this number is representing 4 this number is representing 0 this number is representing 1 this number is representing 1 divided by 2 plus this number is representing 0 and if you add them so it is 5 plus 1 by 2 which is actually equivalent to 5.5 so 1 by 2 is 0.5 so that means if i represent the same number in decimal it is going to be 5.5 hum isko 5.5 se decimal mein represent kar sakte hain you can see it is very very easy to represent these numbers like this let me take one more example if i say that we have number as 32.21 in base 4 and i want to convert this number to base 10 it's very easy correct so it is 2 into 4 is power 0 plus 3 into 4 is power 1 plus 2 into 4 is to power minus 1 plus 1 into 4 is power minus 2 so basically this point on the i mean I if i stand like this so this side we have uh, i have the left side and this is my right side Correct. So, if I check it in this manner, so this 2 into 4 is to power minus 1 will be 2 into 4 is to power minus 1, right? Or I can say I should write it in this manner. So, I can say this is 2 into 1 by 4. 4 is to power minus 1 is 1 by 4. Plus, I can say it is 1 divided by 4 is to power 2 plus. 2 into 4 is to power 0 plus 3 into 4 is to power 1 so this is 12 plus this is 2 plus this is 1 by 2 plus this is 1 by 16 okay and then you can add them all up so add kar sakte this is going to be 14.5 something something so i do not really know what is the value of 1 by 16 so i can easily calculate kar sakte i think you can do it by yourself i think it should be 1 divided by uh, 1, 1 divided by 0, 1, 2, 5 something. So this value should be there. Okay, so you can evaluate it in this Let me take a few more examples here. Let us assume that we have number 1FC in base 16. I want to convert this to base 10. Okay, so that means this number is given in hexadecimal. And if you remember in hexadecimal, we have 0 to 9 then we have a which is representing 10 we have b which is representing 11 we have c that is representing 12 
we have D that is representing 13, we have E representing 14 and we have F representing 15. So it is 1 and 5, 15. So in this example, this F is representing 15 and this C is representing 12. So if I want to convert into base 10, how can I do it? It is 12 into 16 raised to power 0 plus 15 into 16 raised to power 1 plus 1 into 16 raised to power 2. And you can easily evaluate this value. Obviously, you have calculator in the gate exam, pass calculator available also. So you can use this calculations, right? So here you have 12 plus 15 into 16. I think you can do it by yourself. So I believe it is 240. And then we have 16 raised to power 2. I think it is 256. So this value should be uh, 240 plus 256 is 2400. This is 496 plus 12. This is 508, I think so, right? So if there's any calculation mistake, you can also correct my mistakes, right? So history case of this evaluate, kar sakte. evaluating this is very, very easy. Now let me explain your question. So this is again a previous gate question. They are saying that we have a number that is 73 in base R. Aapke paas ek number hai 73 in base R which is equivalent to a number 54 in base Y. Ek 73 number hai base R ke andar aur hamar paas 54 hai base Y ke andar. Now they are asking what is the possible values of R and Y. So instead of saying R I can also say it X because it is very easy. So we have X and Y. So this is some number and they are asking what is the possible values of x and y. So what is possible value? So option number A, the values are 8 and 16. Option number B, the values are 10 and 12. Option number C, the values are 9 and 13. Option number D, the values are 8 and 11. These are the options. Now they are asking what is the possible values of x and y. Now, what possible values kya ho sakti hai? So, if you take this left hand side, so it is 73 with base x, then it will be equal to 3 into x raised to power 0. Right? So, this is multiplication. And then we have 7 into x raised to power 1. So, which is equal to 3 plus 7x. So, this is your left hand side, 3 plus 7x ke equal. Hai. Correct? So, in the same way, when I say we have the right hand side here, so this is 54 with base y that is it is equal to 4 into y raised to power 0 plus 5 into y raised to power 1 which is equal to 4 plus 5 y right so let me write it here so it is equal to 4 plus 5 y okay and if you look at this left hand side as well as this right hand side if you check karenge, left hand side is 3 plus 7x which is equal to 4 plus 5 5y. Now, two things you can notice. Two things that you can notice. First thing that you can notice here is this is base x, correct? And 7 is present in the base x. That means this x should be greater than 7. Just if you have a ternary number system, hai, in ternary number system, you have symbols from 0 to 2. In decimal number system, you have 0 to 9, correct? In Quinary number system we have 0 to 3. Yani ki jo bhi aapka base hai, hamesha jo numbers hai yaha, but the symbols that we are going to have, they will be less than this value. So basically, here the biggest symbol is 7. So I can say x should be greater than 7. And in the same way, here also I can say y should be greater than 5. Y jo hai, wo 5 se bada hona chahi. So by looking at this, can I eliminate any options? No, I cannot eliminate any options. I can't eliminate any options here. Okay? So, but anyways, let us try to analyze this value here. So, let us try to analyze this equation. So, here I can say, if I bring this everything on this side, so I can say it is 7x plus 5y plus 5y plus 7. So, this is 7 plus 5y plus 7. So, this is 7 plus 5y plus 7. This is the equation that I am getting. I am getting some kind of equation here. Now what I can simply do is, I can take these values and I can try to insert these values in this equation. 
right? So this first 8 is representing the value of x and 16 is representing the value of y. So take the option number A. First of all, we have option number A. Ko so in option number A, we have 7 into 8 minus 5 into 16 minus 1 is equal to 0. Is it equal to 0 or not? Kya ye 0 ke equal hai ya fir nahi hai. 7 into 8 is 56 minus 5 into 16 is 80 minus 1 is equal to 0 and you will find that this is not equal to 0. So option number A cannot be a right answer. Then check out the option number B. So in option number B we have 10 and 12. So if I say this number so it is 7 into 10 minus 5 into 12 minus 1 is equal to 0. 7 to 10 is 70 minus 60 minus 1 this is not equal to 0. Ye jo hai, ye 0 ke equal hai. 7 minus 60 is uh, 10, 10 minus 1 is 9. So obviously this is not equal to 0. So option number B is also not correct. Can I check option number C? So in option number C we have the values x is equal to 9 and y is equal to 13. So put these values in some values ko par put karenge. So this is the equation, right? So, yeah, yeah, the equation aapki. so here we are going to put 7 into 9 minus 5 into 13 minus 1. So what is this value? 7 into 9 is 63. Iski jo value hai, y ke aapke pa 63. And if I say that we have 5 into 13, so this is equal to 65 minus 1. Again, this is not equal to 0. Ye 0 ke equal nahi hai. So I can clearly say option number A, B or jo C hai, ye correct answer nahi hai. Option number A, B and C are not correct answer. Can I check about option number D? Kya hum option number D ko check kar sakte? Let us do this. So here we have 8. So 7 into 8 minus 5 into 11 minus 1. So 7 into 8 is 56, 5 into 11 is 55 minus 1 and you can see this value is equal to 0. This value is equal to 0. Ke hai. So this value satisfies this equation. So I can say option number D should be a correct answer. So this way the questions you can easily ask here. And I think you can easily solve this kind of question. So correct answer is option number D. Let me take another example here. So I will take another example. Leta now let, let us look at this problem again. This is a previous year gate problem. So they are saying that we have number which is under root of 2, 2, 4. It is present in base R. It is equivalent to 13 in base R. Then what is this value of R? Matlab R ka value kya hai? Ye R ka matlab kya hai? This is what we have to find out. So basically to solve it, how can I do it? First of all, convert. try to convert this in decimal number system. If you try to convert this in decimal number system, then it is 4 into r raised to power 0 plus 2 into, I'm so sorry. So this is 2 into r raised to power 1 plus 2 into r raised to power 2. And this is complete in under root. And here we have 1 into r raised to power 1 plus 3 into r raised to power 0. And then you can take square on both the sides. So if you take square on both the sides, so it is 4 plus 2r plus 2r square is equivalent to 1r or you can say r plus 3 whole square, which is equal to Okay. And then you can open these brackets. So it is 2r square plus 2r plus 4 is equal to r square plus 9 plus 6r and then you can take these values in one side so this is going to be r square and if you subtract 6r minus 2r so it is minus 3r and then here it is going to be minus 5 is equal to 0 this is the equation that i'm going to get the equation is r square minus 3r minus 5 is equal to 0 now i can find solutions for this equation this equation ke liye main yahan par solutions ko find out kar sakta hu Okay, and uh, how can I find solutions for this equation? Is it a solution one sector? Let us try to analyze that. So here I can make it uh, r square, and we have minus r, and we have minus five, right? Uh, so, sorry, there's a mistake. I think so. It is uh, that's what I was wondering. So it is two r minus six r is going to be four r. So you have 4 r, right? So this is r square minus 5 r plus r 
minus 5 is equal to 0 and then you can take r as common so it is r minus 5 and plus 1 this again r minus 5 and you can take r plus 1 and r minus 5 is equal to 0 okay i hope it is clear so from here you can say r should be equal to minus 1 or r is equal to 5 so obviously r is equal to minus 1 is not a valid solution here so r is equal to 5 is a valid solution so that is why option number c is a correct answer so you can see this is a previous year gate question and very easy and straightforward gate question based on this number system so very easy and easy gate question tha. so i'll take this question later on because i think i've not converted you I told you how to convert a uh, number system in binary i mean point values in binary i'll take it later on also I'll isko baad mein aap sab ek discuss karunga. i'll take this one so here we have to convert a base 8 number system to a base 4 as well as base 16 number system so there's something very interesting that you can do up here aap kuch bahut zyada interesting yaha par kar sakte hain the thing is uh, how can i do it matlab main aisa kya kar sakta hu so that uh, i can do a sh this in a shortcut manner so basically there exists a shortcut i mean what kind of shortcut so if i have a number which is present in base 2 i can easily convert this base 2 number into a base 4 number into a base 8 number a base 16 number as well as a base 32 number and so on because all of these numbers all of these radix, radix are in the powers of 2 Jesse, how can i do it so if you have a number 1101 this is the number that we have okay if i want to convert this number into base 4 so this 4 can be written as 2 raised to power 2 so this power 2 is very important because what i can do is i can combine two bits to make one number i can combine two bits to make one number so 0 1 if i convert 0 1 from base 2 then you can see it, it is representing a number 1 i mean even if you try to convert in decimal it is representing a number 1 so this number is 1 again the next number is 1 1 so 1 1 in base 2 if i convert it so it is going to be 3 in decimal so i can write 3 so in this way this is representing 31 3 1 in base 4 ye 3 1 represent kar hai base 4 ke andar. if i want to convert the same number in base 8 agar hum isko base 8 mein convert karna chahenge so base 8 8 means it is 2 raised to power 3 so this 3 is very important because I have to combine these three bits. So, we have three bits of combination, lena padega, right? So, here we have only four bits, right? So, if I take three bits and three bits, that becomes total of six bits. So, what I can do is I can add two zeros extra here. So, the number will be same. So, if you take this combination, which is 101 in base 2, if I convert it to decimal, so this is going to be 5. If I take 001 in base 2, if I convert it to decimal, this is going to be 1. So, that means I can then simply write 5 and 1. Simply means 5 or 1 click sakta hum. In the same way, if I have base 16, so base 16 means I will take 4 bits. So we in sabhi 4 bits ko 16 mein likhenge. So this is 1101 which is representing 8 plus 4 plus 1 that is equal to 13. So ye jo hai yahan par 13 ko represent kar hai. If I want to represent in base 32, by the way one more thing here, aap ek or cheez yahan par represent kar sakte hai. So I do not really have to write 13. 13 is not a correct answer. Because 13 represents 1 and 3, right? So if you remember it, in base 16, if I want to represent capital A, capital A is 10, capital B is 11, capital C is 12, and capital D is 13. So writing 13 is wrong here. You have 13 galat hai. But instead of this, I could have written capital D base 16. This is what I could have written. In the same way, in base 32 number system, you can also choose ki aapko kya use karna hai. So again, in base 32, I believe it is going to represent capital D only. Yaha par base 32 mein capital D, D ko hi represent karega. In the same way, if you have a base 4 number system, so converting this base 4 number system into base 16, as well as in base uh, 64, as well as in base uh, uh, 256 and so on is going to be very very easy because these are in the powers is sabhi jo hai powers mein hai aur in simply in other words agar aapke paas ek base y number hai 
I can easily convert there exists a shortcut to convert it to base y square into base y cube into base y raised to power 4 and so on because in y square I just have to combine two digits in y cube I have to combine three digits in y raised to power 4 I have to combine four digits and so on now what is given here we they have given a base 8 number so again this rule is valid in both the directions. I mean, I can easily convert this base 8 number to base 2. I can convert a base 2 number to base 8 with this shortcut. So the number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And this number is given in base 8. So to convert this number in base 2, in base 16, is in base, all of these bases, I can first of all convert this to binary. I can convert this to binary me convert kar sakta hu. and how can I convert it to binary let's go binary me kaise convert karunga to write this number in binary I have to write one digit with the help of three bits mujhe har ek digit ko teen bits ke help se likhna hai so here six is given six means it is one one zero so with the help of three bits six can be represented like this then we have five with the help of three bits five will be represented by this then we have four four will be one zero zero then we have 3 which is 0 1 1 and then we have 2 which is 0 1 0 and then we have 1 which is 0 0 1 so in this manner I can easily convert it to binary now converting this binary to both hexadecimal as well as in base 4 that is quinary number system is very easy Dono mein bahut zyada ho jayega, easily ho jayega. so if I want to convert this to hexadecimal it is very easy Kaise convert karna hai? combine 4 bits so this 4 bit is representing number 14 14 means e ye jo hai ye e ko represent kar hai. now these four bits here ye jo four bit it is representing a number 2 these four bits here it is representing a number 7 these four bits here it is representing a number 10 which is a so we have a 7 2 e so a 7 2 e is coming here as well as a72 is coming here so I can directly say option number D as well as option number C is not a right answer and then if I want to convert them into base 4 agar mujhe isko base 4 mein convert karna hai that means I have to combine 2 bits to mujhe us case mein 2 bits ko combine karna padega so if you check it here so we have 10 zero. so 10 zero means I have to write it in 2 11 one means 3 uh, this 10 zero means 2 this 0 zero means 0 then this 1 1 means 3 0 1 means 1 0 1 0 means 2 and this 1 0 means 2 and this way I can easily convert it to base 4 and this way we can base 4 mein convert kar sakte and you can see option number A is exactly matching option number A is the right answer here so this problem is basically very easy only thing that you should know it how can you convert them into different number systems this is the only thing that you have to remember here okay now look at this one again so we have some octal representation is given 6 5 7 with base 8 I want to convert it to hexadecimal I want to hexadecimal to hexadecimal how can I do it it's very easy first of all convert binary right so 7 in binary is 1 1 1 5 in binary is 101 6 in binary is 110 converted right now just convert this into hexadecimal combine 4 bits here 4 bits here again 4 bits here again 4 bits here right so these 4 bits are presenting 15 which is f these 4 bits are presenting 10 which is a and these 4 bits are presenting 1 so this is 1 a f in hexadecimal and that is option number a is absolutely right option number a jo hai, par absolutely correct answer hai. in this manner you can easily do it now then we have this multiplication and you can see this multiplication evaluated in octal number system jo puri jo multiplication hai, ye octal number system evaluate kar and evaluating this multiplication is also very very easy let me show you how can we do this multiplication okay so let us do this multiplication in octal so the number that we have is 34.4 multiplied by 2 3.4 this is the number we have and we have to do this multiplication in octal number system multiplication hai, octal number system mein karni hai. 
लेट एस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड कि कैसे कर सकते हैं सो अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस इज वन द वेरी इजी आई मीन इट्स ऑल्सो वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एज वेल इज वेरी ट्रिकी देखो फोर इंटू फोर क्या होता है फोर इंटू फोर इज सिक्सटीन बट यू कैनॉट राइट सिक्सटीन इन ऑक्टर अगर आपके पास सिक्सटीन आता है सो हाउ कैन यू रिप्रेजेंट दिस सिक्सटीन इन ऑक्टर सिक्सटीन को ऑक्टर में कैसे रिप्रेजेंट करेंगे सो आई एम गोइंग टू रिप्रेजेंट हेयर टू एंड जीरो राइट सो दिस रिमाइंडर इज जीरो जीरो आई थिंक आई हैव नॉट डिस्कस्ड हाउ टू कन्वर्ट वन नंबर सिस्टम टू अंदर लेट मी आई थिंक लेट मी फर्स्ट कन्वर्ट एक्सप्लेन दैट देन आई विल कम बैक टू दिस वन ओके सो यू नो दैट इफ यू हैव अ नंबर सिस्टम विट इज अ बाइनरी टू डेसिमल इज वेरी इजी बट हाउ टू कन्वर्ट अ डेसिमल टू बाइनरी हम डेसिमल को बाइनरी में कैसे कन्वर्ट करेंगे या फिर हाउ टू कन्वर्ट अ डेसिमल टू क्वीनरी और हाउ टू कन्वर्ट अ डेसिमल नंबर टू बेस बाई नंबर हम इसको कैसे कन्वर्ट करेंगे अगेन दिस कन्वर्जन इज वेरी वेरी ईजी सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम ओनली गोइंग टू टेक इंटीजर नंबर जो पॉइंट वाले नंबर है उसको बाद में डिस्कस करेंगे सो लेट इज एज्यूम इफ आई हैव अ नंबर फिफ्टी राइट सो दिस फिफ्टी सिक्स नंबर इज गिवन इन डेसिमल ये जो फिफ्टी सिक्स नंबर है ये डेसिमल में गिवन है आई वॉन्ट टू कन्वर्ट इट टू बाइनरी मुझे इसको बाइनरी में कन्वर्ट करना है कैसे करेंगे लेट एस ट्राई टू कन्वर्ट अ नंबर फिफ्टी सिक्स फ्रॉम बेस टेन टू बेस टू हमें नंबर फिफ्टी सिक्स को बेस टेन से बेस टू में कन्वर्ट करना है हाउ कैन आई डू इट सो हियर आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू डिवाइड दिस बाई टू and i'm going to write remainder here i'm going to write the number here so for example if i do 56 divided by 2 so the number is 28 and remainder is 0 again if i do 28 divided by 2 number is 14 the remainder is 0 again divided by 2 it is 7 the remainder is 0 again divided by 2 it is 3 the remainder is 1 again divided by 2 the remainder is 1 so in this manner i can write it down and then i can write it in this order so this is representing a number that is 1 1 1 Zero 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 in base two, and you can verify your answer whether it is representing fifty six or not. आप इसको verify कर सकते हैं. So you can see this is zero into two is power zero, zero into two is power one, zero into two is power two, one into two is power three, one into two is power four, and this is one into two is power five. So this is representing number thirty two plus sixteen plus eight, and that is going to be fifty six. ये जो है ये नंबर 56 को रिप्रेजेंट कर रहा है सो इट इज वेरी इजी टू कन्वर्ट अ बेस्ड एंड नंबर सिस्टम टू अदर नंबर सिस्टम सो इफ आई वांट टू कन्वर्ट इनटू बेस वाई अगर मुझे इसको बेस वाई नंबर सिस्टम में कन्वर्ट करना है ऑल हैव टू डू इज आई हैव टू स्टार्ट डिवाइडिंग बाय वाई एंड आई हैव टू राइट रिमाइंडर्स हियर एंड यू कैन राइट रिमाइंडर इन दैट ऑर्डर दिस इज वॉट यू हैव टू डू ओके सो आई होप दिस मच इज क्लियर नाउ लेट एस ट्राई टू डू दिस मल्टीप्लीकेशन हियर वी हैव थ्री थर्टी फोर पॉइंट पॉइंट फोर एंड बोथ ऑफ दीज नंबर्स आर इन बेस एट ये दोनों नंबर्स हैं ये बेस एट के नंबर्स हैं सो इफ आई डू फोर मल्टीप्लाइड बाई फोर फोर मल्टीप्लाइड बाई फोर इन डेसीमल इज सिक्सटीन बट आई कैन नॉट राइट सिक्सटीन इन हेक्सा डेसीमल राइट जो फोर मल्टीप्लाइड फोर बाई फोर जो सिक्सटीन होता है वो डेसीमल वैल्यूज हैं सो फोर मल्टीप्लाइड बाई फोर सो इफ दिस फोर इज डेसीमल दिस फोर इज डेसीमल देन द रिजल्ट इज सिक्सटीन इन डेसीमल करेक्ट so if i want to write in octal then i have to convert this 16 decimal to octal so hum 16 decimal ko octal mein kaise convert karenge so you have to write like this right so if i write 20 into base 8 that is equal to 16 into base 10 correct so in this 20 we have this digit 0 here yahan par digit 0 hai so i'm going to write 0 here and i'm going to write carry 2 here yahan par jo carry hai wo 2 ko hum log yahan par likhenge okay then again do this multiplication 4 multiplied by 4 is 16 16 and then we have a carry 2 16 ke baad hamare paas yahan par carry 2 hai and this number is going to be kya number ho gaya aapke paas 18 this number is going to be 18 so if i do 18 in decimal what is this this number in hexadecimal ye number hexadecimal mein kya hogi this number is i mean this what is this number in octal ये नंबर ऑक्टल में क्या रहेगी द नंबर इज गोइंग टू बी 22 इन ऑक्टल ये जो नंबर है ये ऑक्टल में 22 रहेगी सो आई एम गोइंग टू राइट टू हियर आई एम गोइंग टू गिव अ कैरी टू हियर यहाँ पर मैं टू लिखूंगा और जो कैरी है उसको टू दूंगा नाई कैन सी फोर मल्टीप्लाइड बाई थ्री इज फोर मल्टीप्लाइड बाई थ्री इज ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व इन डेसीमल एंड देन ट्वेल्व प्लस टू इज फोर्टीन इन डेसीमल तो अगर आप फोर्टीन इन डेसीमल की बात करते हैं सो दिस फोर्टीन इन डेसीमल सो सी वाई एम डूइंग दिस 
uh, why I am doing this calculation because I want to explain this otherwise even without this calculation I can easily solve it. So this is 1 and the remainder here is 6 right so I have to write 16 so this 16 will be in hexadecimal so this multiplication is 16 20 again put a cross mark here so 3 into 2 is 3 into 4 is 12 and 12 this this 12 is present in decimal I have to convert this into hexadecimal right. one zero five three six zero and in this number we have one point here value one point value here so one two I can put a point here so this number is going to be one zero five three point six zero in octal yeah aapki jo value hai yeh octal ne kuch is tarikai se evaluate hoge correct so correct answer here is option number A so again doing this multiplication is also very easy aap चाहे आप बाइनरी मल्टीप्लिकेशन करें या फिर आप डेसिमल मल्टीप्लिकेशन करें यू कैन डू मल्टीप्लिकेशन इन इन एनी ऑफ दिस नंबर सिस्टम्स ऑल यू हैव टू डू इज जो भी आपके पास रिजल्ट आता है यू हैव टू कन्वर्ट दैट रिजल्ट टू दैट पर्टिकुलर नंबर सिस्टम ओके लेट मी गिव यू वन मोर एग्जाम्पल आपको मैं एक और एग्जाम्पल देता हूँ सो लेट एस सपोज आई वॉन्ट टू मल्टीप्लाई लेवन पॉइंट वन दिस इज प्रजेंट इन बाइनरी टू वन जीरो 1 point or uh, make it small because I think this is going to be a very big number so let me make it 10.1 this is also present in binary aapko jo multiplication hai ye binary mein perform karni so you can also follow the same rule here so here 1.1 11.1 multiplied by 10.1 correct so you can see 1 multiplied by 1 is 1 to hum yaha pa lekhenge 1 1 multiplied by 1 is again 1 1 multiplied by 1 is again 1, right? Then 0 multiplied by anything is 0. Then 1 multiplied by this thing is 1, 1, 1, correct? Now the tricky part is, if you, I can write 1 here, that is perfectly fine. 1 plus 1 is 2. And 2 in binary is 1, 0. So I'm going to keep take a carry here. So 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. So it is 1 and 1. So again, it is 1, 0, right? And then here we have a point after one place, one point after one place, so I can write it in this manner. So this is going to be this multiplication. So this multiplication is going to be 101.01 in binary. So this multiplication is the result of this way. So doing this multiplication is also very, very easy. If you have any doubt, please feel free to ask. Okay, so again, here what they are trying to say that we have two numbers here. This number is in hexadecimal and this number is present in binary. So I have to perform this subtraction, convert this hexadecimal to binary, convert, uh, you already have a binary here, then you can perform a binary subtraction, then you can easily get the answer. And this answer is given in octal. This answer is given in octal. How can I do it? 
So we have the number C012.25 and this number is present in hexadecimal. How can I write this number in binary? So 5 jo hai, 5 kaise likhenge? 0, 1, 0, 1. 2 kaise likhenge? So 2 is going to be 0, 0, 1, 0. Point. So again 2, 0, 0, 1, 0. 1, so it is 0, 0, 0, 1. 0, so all zeros here. And then C, C means A10, B11, right? C13, I mean 12. So C jo hai, 12 could present kar hai. So this is 1100. Zero, zero. So in this way, I can write this number. And then I can take the second number here. So this second number is 10111. Then we have 00. zero. Then we have 1110.101. I mean, this number is there. So we can take these two numbers and you can perform subtraction. And after performing subtraction, whatever your result you're going to get, you can convert that result to octal. And converting the result to octal is also going to be very, very easy for you guys. So you subtraction, you perform kar sakte hai. Let me know if you have any doubts. Now look at this example here. So in this example, we have 121 in base R. So we have 121 in base R. And this is the value which is under root. And I want to have, this is 11 in some base R. So they are asking what is the value of R. We have R ki value kya ho sakti hai. If you check it, so its value kya hogi? This is value hai. This is one into r raised to power zero plus two into r raised to power one plus one into r raised to power two. I can take this complete under root. This is equal to one into r plus one into r raised to power zero. So this is again one plus two r plus r square whole under root is equivalent to one plus r. So take multiplication I mean take square on both the sides so a value who say give us r square plus 1 plus 2 r then it is equivalent to 1 plus r whole square and if you check it out you will find out ki jo humare left hand side hai or jo right hand side hai wo dono yaha par equal a jayegi here both the left hand side and right hand side is actually equivalent so what does it mean iska matlab kya hai right can I say that uh, it means that this equation is valid. Now my question here is, what is the value of r that should satisfy this equation? What is What is the value of r that should satisfy this equation? What is the value of r that should satisfy this equation? This is what I want to ask. So, two things that I can take. Two things that I can take. So, if I say we have under root of 121 in r, what is the value of r that this is r should be greater than 2. Because here, the biggest digit is digit represented here, it is two. Therefore, the value of r should be greater than two. R ki jo value is two se zada honi chahiye. So this is one thing that should acknowledge. And secondly, in this equation, you can see you can put any value of r. Aap yahan par r ki koi bhi value put karo. You can take any value whatsoever with r. This equation will always satisfy. So basically, in this solution, you can take any value of r. But the value of r should be greater than 2. r ki jo value hai, wo greater than 2 hai, then that will satisfy. So here option number a will also satisfy, option number b will also satisfy, option number c will also satisfy, but option number d is correct because option number d is covering option number a, b and c. Yahan par is equation mein, is equation mein r ki aap koi bhi value leje, it will satisfy every value of r. Ye r ki sabhi values ko satisfy karega. Now look at this question again. Doing this question is also very easy. So I'm leaving this question for you guys. Aap sabhi isko se kar sakte hai. So here in this question, what they're trying to say that we have 3, 1, 2 in some base R divided by 20 in the same base R, then it is equal to 13.1 in base R. Ye kuch par given hai. So in this case, you can convert this 3, 1, 2 in base R. So this 3 R square plus R plus 2 divided by 2r is equivalent to this is r plus 3 plus 1 upon r. So, this is the equation here. And you can do a cross multiplication. If you cross multiplication, karenge, then you will get 3r square plus r plus 2 is equal to 2r square plus 6r plus 2. So, then you can take it on this side. So, it is r square minus 5r 
and this 2 and 2 will get cancelled which is equal to 0 so I can say r minus 5 into r is equal to 0 then I can say this r minus 5 is equal to 0 or r is equal to 0 so obviously r cannot be 0 r ki jo value hai 0 nahi ho sakte because this r should be greater than 3 so that means r is equal to 5 is a correct value yaha par jo correct value hai yaha par y ki r is equal to 5 so this calculation is valid in the base radix 5 ye jo calculation hai ye base radix 5 par valid hai now look at let us look at this question here they are saying we have 123 with base 5 it is equal to x into 8 with base y so if you can see this, how can I solve it? So it is 3 into 5. So this is uh, uh, 3 plus 10 plus 25. Then it is equal to x, y plus 8. I just opened them. I just tried to convert them in base 10. So this value is going to be 38. Then 38 is x, y plus 8. Therefore, I can say x, y should be equal to 30 and x y ka jo multiplication hai wo 30 ke equal hoga now by looking at it you can try to check it out here yahan par aapke paas x into 8 y hai so therefore i can say this y should be greater than 8 y jo hai wo 8 se bada hona chahiye but at the same time this x should be less than y x jo hai y se less hona chahiye so is there any value of y which is greater than 8 that satisfies this equation and you will see that if I can say if y is equal to 10 and x is equal to 5 then it satisfies this equation yeah, this equation will satisfy at the same time if y is equal to 15 and x is equal to 2 that also satisfies this equation so what is the number of possible solution here Yahan par kitne possible solution hai? I think there's one more case here a core case possible hai. So if I say y is equal to 30 and x is equal to 1 then also it satisfies so I can say there are 3 possible solutions here. Yahan par jo solutions hai wo 3 hai. Clear? So there are 3 possible solutions in this case. So again this is a very interesting previous year gate question. Again you can find this one more gate question. I think we have already solved it but let me solve it again. So here we have 43 in base x is given as y into 3 in base 8. So this can be written as 4x plus 3 is equal to 8y plus 3. So in 3 and 3 is cancelled. So I can say 4x is equal to 8y or you can say x is equal to 2x or you can say from here you can say that x is equal to 2y x jo hai wo 2y ke equal hai so from this equation you can find out that if i say 43 with base x therefore i can say x should be greater than 4 x jo hai wo 4 se bada hona chahiye and from here when i say y 3 8 so that means y should be less than 8 y jo hai wo 8 se kam hona chahiye so is there any solution here where y is less than 8 and x is greater than 4 is that is satisfying this equation which is satisfying this equation so if I say uh, in that case then which values will satisfy here so we know that there is an upper bound on y we don't have an upper bound on y here is an upper bound on y here is an upper bound on y so if I say y is equal to 7 then x can be 14 if I say y is equal to 6 then x can be uh, 12 sorry x can be sorry so yes so x can be 12 if i say y is equal to 5 x can be 10 y is equal to 4 x can be uh, 8 y is equal to 3 x can be 6 y is equal to 2 x can be 4 right and y is equal to 1 x can be 2 but again the condition is condition kya hamare paas jo x hai wo 4 se bada hona chahiye x jo hai x should be greater than 4 so obviously these two will not be a solution so yahan par ye jo values hain these five values satisfies both of these two conditions jo panch values hain ye dono condition ko satisfy karti hai therefore i can say the number of solutions here is 5 yahan par total five solutions hain jo ki in equations ko satisfy karte hain i hope it is clear aap sabhi ke sath ye clear bhi hoga aur aap sabhi ke upar ye visible bhi hoga